Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios. I was lucky enough to grab a dining reservation at 50's Primetime Cafe, and I've been really craving a sampling of mom's favorite recipes, including some meatloaf and chicken noodle soup. So I figured I'd come out a little bit early, ride some rides, enjoy the park, and just have an amazing Hollywood Studios kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. And here it is, 50's Primetime Cafe, hosted by Coca-Cola. This is where we're going to be eating a little bit later on. And the last time I was here, uh, it was during the phase reopening, so it wasn't 100%, and I've been wanting to come back once it was like a completely like functional restaurant like it used to be, and I figured today would be the perfect day. It's a hard-to-get reservation, so when I saw it, I was like, I'm taking that now. The other day, we were dining at Whispering Canyon Cafe, and I kind of feel like 50's Primetime and Whispering Canyon are kind of the same thing when it comes to the cast members and the interactions. Like, they kind of joke around with you here. It's like your mom and your cousin from the 50's, and they'll make sure to tell you no dessert unless you eat your vegetables, and tell you to get your elbows off the table, and it's really fun, and like I said, the last time I was here, it wasn't like that so much because they was just reopening so I'm so happy to be back dinner isn't for a couple of hours but like I said I wanted to come out and ride some rides so maybe we should go check the wait times because Hollywood Studios has been a little bit difficult recently sometimes the wait times can be extremely long also, I got super excited when I decided I was coming to Hollywood Studios because I've been waiting to wear this amazing Ewok Roosevelt shirt. Then, like, I was like, oh, I gotta wear it when I go to Hollywood Studios. And we're definitely gonna stop over at Star Tours to take some photos. But take a look at this shirt. Isn't it so amazing? I love it. If you guys want, I got a link in the description. You can use promo code PMM20 to get 20% uh, off your first order. But this is much too good. Take a look at this. The wait times don't look that bad. Rise of the Resistance is only 65 minutes. Slinky Dog Dash is 80 minutes. Uh, yeah, Toy Story Mania, 50 minutes. Smuggler's Run, 50 minutes. Tower of Terror is 90 minutes. Those actually aren't that bad because I've been seeing it where you come to Hollywood Studios and there's four plus attractions with over a 100 minute wait. So this, I can do. I really wish we could ride Tower of Terror. That's always going to be the longest wait in this park, especially now because half the ride isn't running. And it's oh, such a fun ride. And when I was over in Disneyland, I loved Guardians of the Galaxy, but I want them both. You know what I mean? So as long as they don't go changing this one and keep Guardians over there, then I'd be happy because then that's two different rides you get to experience. I had to come over to the Star Tours queue because this is my shirt right here. <laughs> and I just wanted to take some photos because it's so awesome. I love Ewoks. Like, they're probably one of my favorite things about Star Wars. And I'm so happy with this shirt. I love it. Even though we already have dinner plans, I was a little bit hungry, so I wanted to grab a quick snack. And I saw some bananas over by where you meet Olaf, and I thought maybe I'd just grab a quick banana. But they're asking $2.50 for one banana, and it's not even a good looking banana. Like, it's like a very, like, sad looking banana. So I think if we find something to lightly snack on until we can get to our dinner reservation, we might do that. Let's make our way through Galaxy's Edge and then over to Toy Story Land. Maybe we can ride some rides on our way, on our journeys. On our journeys through, maybe we'll stop and ride some rides. I wish that they had regular Ewok meet and greets in the park because I would wait hours for that. Like, I love Ewoks and I did get to meet them once, but that was at Moonlight Magic. And if they were here now, oh man, I'd be, I'd be waiting in line right now. In fact, I was kind of just hanging out here waiting to see if Chewie was going to come out. I feel like they need any Star Wars meet and greet characters because right now they're kind of the, the uh, character sighting still. There's not a stationary Star Wars meet and greet and I think they should bring that back. Now they did announce that Launch Bay, where you used to be able to meet Kylo Ren and Chewie, uh, even uh, Vader was down there, that is coming back with regular character meet and greets, but they didn't give us a time frame. We don't know when it's coming back, and I still think we need to have a character meet and greet here in Batuu. You know what I mean? 
I made my way over to Toy Story Land and Alien Swirling Saucers is only a 25 minute wait so I figured why not? Might as well go for a quick ride and I love this ride. It always makes me happy. They have a ride just like this over in Disney's California Adventure, but instead of Toy Story, it's Cars themed, and it's uh, Tomato's Junkyard Jamboree, I think it is, and I didn't get to ride it while I was out there, so that made me a little sad, but this one, I can tell I like more, because I like Toy Story more than I like Cars. Like, you know what I mean? Let me know in the comments, are you more of a fan of Toy Story or Cars? Like, Toy Story, I'm an Andy's kid. This is also a really cool view of watching Slinky Dog dash and dodge. Look at... <laughs> I love that ride. Alright, now it's time we gotta find an alien. I don't know which one suits me best. Maybe this guy right here. I like his face, because they all have different faces. Like you see this one right here, and then take a look at this guy's face right here. See? They're all different. So I guess this one's gonna be ours. I have been chosen. Any second now, waiting on you, my little green friend. Oh, the anticipation. Oh, there we go. I love it. I love watching the track switch, too. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> you really get whipped here. Okay, we'll switch it again. Here we go. Time for a big swing. Big swing. Oh, oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> the claw. <laughs> ah. Here it is. Whoa, whoa. What was that? That was a close one. <laughs> I like this ride better than I like teacups. Because teacups you just spin and spin. This you kind of just get whipped. You just whip. Here we go, big whip right here. Whoa! <laughs> oh, it's coming to an end. Oh, I like the reflections from the pizza window though. That was very enjoyable. I liked it very much so. Alien Swirling Saucer was amazing. I wish we could ride Slinky Dog Dash, but I don't have 75 minutes and look at her go. Look at him go. That's such a fun ride. Let's start making our way back out to the front of the park. Maybe stop into Walt Disney Presents. Take a look in there for a little bit and maybe meet Sully if there's not a long line because I love Sully. So I'm here at Hollywood Studios and I'm like, okay, Sully's at Hollywood Studios. Seriously though, one of the best character meet and greets. Sully is so awesome. And now that you get like to hug characters, and like I said, I mean, I don't go up and like hug the characters a lot, but I will never turn down a hug from Sully. Like he has like gigantic arms. I'll never turn down a hug from Mickey either, or a lot of characters. I guess I am a hugger. I don't know what I'm saying. It's also really cool to be back in here since I went out to Disneyland and seeing like all these iconic photos. Like this picture right here was hanging next to my bed in the Disneyland hotel. Like isn't that so cool? So it's nice to be back here and appreciate it a little bit more. This is a really magical like exhibit, especially if you're a Walt Disney fanatic. Sundays with Uncle Walt. Walt Disney. Well, it looks like it's a no-go on Sully. His door basically disappeared here. I think he only works like nine to five. Seriously though, it looks like his door is just gone. It, it, they kind of hide it and it looks like it's just a blank wall, but he's back there. You can see the lights. I wonder if he's back there right now. My new goal in life is to go to every single Disney park ever made. Like I want to go to Shanghai, Hong Kong, Disneyland Paris. I think it would be amazing. Like, that's a pretty nifty goal to have, and uh, hopefully one day I'll do it. I want to see every single castle, because they're all so beautiful, though, aren't they? Like, look at that right there. I love it. Oh, down here, too? Amazing. 
Well, it was nice to go in there for a little bit. Maybe we'll uh, see Sully another time because he is here all the time. I think he's just out during the day only. You know what I mean? He works that nine to five job, but he is really a cool character meet and greet. Now, I think we're gonna go check on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Maybe it's a short line and we can ride it before we head on over to 50's Primetime Cafe. Either way, I'm getting hungry and I never got a snack because that banana was $2.50. I am pretty positive Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is a walk-on right now. Like, there's no line. There's no queue out here. We're going for it. It says 40 minutes, but there's no line. They're actually just walking right into the building there. Like, that's awesome. <laughs> that's not 40 minutes. This is crazy. <laughs> I mean, the line might be in here a little bit, but this is nothing. This is nada. I really can't believe I just waited in a longer line. Uh, I, I can't believe I waited longer for alien swirling saucers than I am about to wait for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Literally was a five minute wait. That's crazy. Yeah. Have we spent all our money? Yeah. <laughs> now I have had guests worry that they may have money left at the end of the day. Oh, don't worry. But please don't worry. If you do, we will collect it as you leave the park. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, they actually took down the plexiglass in the queue here finally. That's really awesome. This is the first ride I think I noticed that they took it all down. Here comes our runaway train. Testing, testing. I honestly still can't get over the fact that that was just a walk-on. Like, 
that was awesome. It makes you enjoy the ride a lot more when you don't wait like in a long line because you know what I mean? You just breeze right on in. But if you're waiting in a long line, you're kind of tired and you're like, Meh. and then when you get up there, you're just like, Meh. but when you just walk right in, it's like, everything's amazing. All right, now it's time we have to make our way over to 50's prime time. It's dinner time and it is so beautiful out today. I'm really loving it. I am so hungry, I cannot wait to eat. And they have some good food here. I'm excited for some soup. I've been on a soup kick recently. I love soup, soup is amazing to me. Maybe I should go to Boma because I just love their stews there. But anyways, I'm so excited, it's time to eat. Thanks. That's me, oh that's me. That's, yep, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, a restroom there. Oh, okay, thank you. Look at the kitchen, I love it. Oh, this is like one of my favorite themed restaurants. It is so cool in here. Now that we're at our table, I want to give you guys a tour around the restaurant and show you some of the really cool decor. And let me know if you had any of these items in your house when you were growing up. And I think it's kind of really awesome. I'm sitting by myself, but if I had more than just one person, I would want to sit like right here where you get to just sit down and watch TV while you're eating dinner. But this is a table of four, but look how cool this is. And like you can hear it and everything, it's actual TV shows. And I love the Disney and Walt Disney right here. That is so cool. Look at all these things. It is so, look at the cookie jar. I love it. And then we got a, a calendar plate, a 1959 calendar plate. It looks like the Dick Van Dyke show is on. Got a Coca-Cola clock, a lobster mold. Oh, look at this toaster too. Seriously, I love this stuff. It's so cool. Everything kind of gets me all excited. I want to see what's in this other room over here. Check out this fridge right here and a fun fact, if you come to eat here and you are the first family of the day, so you're the first reservation of the day, they take your photo and it stays on the fridge and you get to have it. It stays on the fridge the whole entire day and you get a copy of it. Look, first family of the day, 50's Primetime Cafe, May 10th, 1952. So that was today. I always want to do that. I want to be the first person here and just be by myself and just be like the first family. Right? Yes. Things haven't changed. We still expect you to have manners. No kicking, no screaming, no roughhousing, no biting. You know, you eat your vegetables, you say please and thank you, and you keep your elbows off the table, take your hat off here in the house. Yes. Well, you're welcome. Thank you. As for soon as I sat down, I already was told I need to take my hat off and no elbows on the table, which I will gladly comply. Cousin Nathan, that's for you. You thank need more you. time with the food, right? Do you guys have a blue plate special? The chicken pot pie? Is that what it is? It is. Well, it is. Oh. It's coming back, but we don't have it on the menu yet, so it's our blue plate special. Oh, wow. It's how it used to be. It has the pastry on top, dark meat, peas, carrots. I like that. You I have to think it. about it. No, you know what? I want soup first. I'll get the soup started, yeah. okay? Don't overheat the menu. There's five things to eat. <laughs> okay, oh boy, I'm really torn because they have a chicken pot pie that's the blue plate special, but I love getting a sampling of mom's favorites, which is uh, fried chicken, a little bit of fried chicken, a little bit of meatloaf, a little bit of pot roast, but pot pie sounds amazing. At least I know I'm getting this soup. I wanted the chicken noodle soup, but there's going to have to be a choice. We're going to have to make a choice here. Here is a look at the menu. Aunt Liz's golden fried chicken is $25. The sampling, like I told you, is $27. So it's just under $30 per person, but they do have some things like salad and stuff like that. It's only $17.19. So it's not that expensive at all. That's my soup. That yes. was fast. Well, look we at that. We work fast at mom's house. I love it. There we go. We'll give you some more time? Yeah. Take your time. Don't Thank you. Okay? I got you. Look at that soup. And I love this little bread that they give you. No, oh, that is some good soup. I can't wait to dive into it. I cannot wait to dive into this soup. The noodles look amazing. The chicken, look at that. No soup, good soup. <laughs> it's so good. Oh. Seriously, I love this soup so much. Break off a little of the breadstick. Got a boom, bum, boom. Oh, I gotta soak up that broth. Gotta get it on there. 
This soup is so good. Good soup. I love that little breadstick that they serve the soup with, so I'm gonna ask them if I can have an extra one. An extra breadstick. And I also decided on getting the sample, like the sampler, because I wanna try a little bit of everything. Maybe one day I'll come back and get the blue plate. The blue plate special. Shine. What are we thinking? I'm gonna get the sampler. Perfect. Helping us clean the fridge out from the leftovers. Always mm -hmm. appreciate it. Can I have an extra breadstick too? Breadstick? Oh, oh. Christini, yes. A Christini? Mom's not a big mom. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> One Christini. Thank you. You're welcome. Christini. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Oh, there it is. That's the good stuff, the sampler. Hopefully we can clean it all and be a member of the Clean Plate Club. Good. I was like, I wonder who that belongs to. We got nice hot deep frosted leftovers. Anything else I can bring you? No, I think good? I'm good. Perfect. Eat your vegetables first before they grow cold and hard to eat, okay? Okay. Eat my vegetables first. I do as I'm told. We got the green beans, which I've already almost eaten all. Then the meatloaf, the mashed potatoes, the chicken, and the pot roast here. Also, get some carrots over here. That's the stuff. Oh yeah. Meatloaf's looking good with that brown gravy. Much too good. Also, I like how they keep on referring to it as leftovers because it's a, it's a sampling of your mom's favorite recipes. So it's all the leftovers combined and that's awesome. They're like a freshly defrosted frozen leftover uh, plate here. I think that's so cool. Here's the meatloaf though. Take a look at that. It looks good, right? And then I can't wait to dive into these mashed potatoes. Oh yeah, that's the way. A little combination, a little bit of both. I definitely gotta get back to eating those green beans though because she told me to eat them first. So I don't know what she's gonna say when she comes back and sees that I dived into the meatloaf. All right, green beans check. Now, let's get into this pot roast over here. Take a look, see. It looks like good pot roast, too. Got a pearl onion in there. Oh, yeah. That's good pot roast. A little mashed potato. Gotta, go, gotta get the combo. First cup of bites, wonderful and delicious. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Do we need anything else? Nope. Good. I still see a green meat. Oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> There's one green bean there. One. She got me with one green bean that was underneath the chicken. That's so hysterical. Now, speaking of chicken, let's get down to the chicken business here. Good old Aunt Liz chicken. Oh, look at that skin coming right off. Oh, that's the way. <laughs> the breading on Aunt Liz's chicken is so airy and it has some crunch to it. You can probably hear it. But I love it. But. Here we go. I'm really trying to join the clean plate club. I think I'm doing pretty good. We're definitely gonna make it. Gonna keep on scooping like this. We got this. I came, I saw, I cleaned the plate. Look at that. I'm definitely gonna get that sticker. <laughs> Going right yep. back in the kitchen. We don't even need the dishwasher today. Yep. Now, are we saving room for dessert, which is the most important part of every meal? Yeah, what's the, you have a peanut butter and jelly milkshake, right? Absolutely. Best thing on the menu. I'll Just take like it. A Reese's you got it. I'll take it. I'll get that for you. Do you Thank you. Well? Oh, yeah, please. Yes. Cousin Julia told me that the best thing on the menu was the peanut butter and jelly milkshake. And like I said, I'm kind of on a peanut butter and jelly kick. So I went for it and she also said that I definitely joined the Clean Plate Club. So I feel very honored. I feel very special today. That's for you. Thank you. Peanut butter jelly milkshake as well. I brought two in case you get clumsy again. Thank you. There it is. That's what I've been waiting for. Official member, Clean Plate Club, and I got a backup too. Excellent. And take a look at this milkshake. Oh, I love it. It's so thick. It's almost like a frosty. I don't even know if I can use this straw. It's so thick. 
Nothing's happening. Just gonna, just gonna spoon it. That is so good. I'm calling it quits on the milkshake. I don't think I can finish it all. That is a big look at. They give you the whole cup, like all the way filled up. Like I know some places they usually dump it out and then bring this cup out with some of the extra in it, but this is full. That's the Dick Van Dyke show up top there. Thank you. You're welcome. That'll be good. Make good decisions. Mind your reason. Choose the kind of stranger for man. Will do. Will do. Our dinner size. choice. That did the trick there. Holy moly. I love it. Like, I want to come back and try the pot pie, though, because the pot pie is really fun. And also, I love seeing the cast members way more interactive. Like, they were really, you know, it was funny. It reminded me of the old 50s primetime cafe that I remember coming to when it was MGM Studios. And I loved it. Like, legit, I had to take my hat off. I had to eat my vegetables. She kept on yelling at me because I was on my phone. And she was telling me elbows off the table. Every time I said something, I had to make sure I said please and thank you. And it's really Really, really fun it's a great time the food is kind of just like you know it's okay it's not that bad it, but it's also not that expensive either like I said it's under $30 for adults and even kids it's even cheaper and so like you really you know you can't expect more you're paying for the ambience of the restaurant going back into the 50s sitting down and having these great interactions with your cousins and your aunts and your moms and I love it Take a look at this. Right now is the perfect time of the day. All the neon lights are coming on. It's still daylight out. It's still daylight out and it's like 8.20. It's 8.15 at night, 8.15. I'm used to it getting dark here in Florida sometimes as early as 6 p.m. And it's like perfect out right now. Seriously, if you think about it, the value of that restaurant is really good because my whole entire check was, uh, I think, like $44, $45. And I got an Arnold Palmer, I got an appetizer, I got soup, I got my entree, and I got a dessert. I got the, the uh, peanut butter and jelly milkshake. And that's a lot of food for like $40 some dollars, especially at Disney, where that won't even cover your entree. You know what I mean? So you're getting all of that plus your drink. And uh, I was able to official member of the uh, Clean Plate Club. I'm gonna cherish this forever. I guess now we're actually head on home, go see Gracie Girl and finish up the video once we get back there. But just look at, look at how pretty this is here. It's so nice. Also, I wanna look up at the trees too. I love Hollywood Studios. It really is the golden era. And here she is, my pretty little princess. Oh, look at that tail. Look at that tail. Oh, 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 oh. What? What? You smell? You smell the 50s prime time? Oh, you want a pup cake? Why? You want this? Huh? You want this? Oh, where are you going with that? Huh? And with that, we are done here today. What a fun a little adventure we had at Hollywood Studios. 50s primetime was amazing. Gracie got a pup cake. I am full, so that's a good day. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!